The next exercise that we're going to talk about in our four foundational movements is the pull. So we've talked about a squat movement, a push movement, and now we're going to talk about a pull movement. So we're going to look at a, a rowing movement today, just like rowing a boat, but we're going to use a resistance band. Now, you can actually do this with any type of um, weight. If you wanted to do it with a weight, you would actually have to be in a bent over position. So the nice thing about using a resistance band is that you can do it sitting down or standing up if you have something to hook your band around. Now, these are pretty easy and pretty affordable to get, so this is something that you can easily do at home. We're gonna actually sit down on the floor to do this. I'm gonna wrap the band around our feet. And if I hold the handles, the band is actually too loose for me to really get much out of this. So I'm gonna just reach down a little bit further on the band to give myself enough resistance. So it should be a little bit tight to start with so that when I row, the resistance increases. Now, when you're doing a rowing movement, you wanna make sure that you're not pulling with your low back. We're trying to target the upper back muscles and we wanna be pulling the scapula, which are your shoulder blades. We wanna be pulling them back and together as we pull our hands in towards our hips. So what we wanna avoid is pulling with the low back. We also wanna avoid shrugging the shoulders up, all right? Really important to keep the shoulders down Keep your shoulder blades down and back. And as you're rowing, squeezing those shoulder blades together and getting a nice contraction of the muscles in between your shoulder blades. They're called your rhomboids. So we want to try to strengthen the muscles in our upper back because we have a tendency to be quite tight in the front and weak in the back. So this is going to help open up the chest and balance out that imbalance that we tend to have between front and back. So this kind of rowing exercise is a really good foundation for all of the pulling exercises that you might do in a gym. Um, if you do any kind of suspension training with um, like a TRX, TRX or another suspension trainer, or if you do any kind of bent over rows with weights, or if you do a seated row at a machine. So this is a really good starting point.